Hi second grade, welcome to our series of videos um, that I'm making to talk to you and to illustrate to you all the steps that are involved in circle weaving. This is our weaving project at second grade. Pretty exciting project when we put it up in the hall last year. Everybody loved it, even Mrs. Malin wanted to make it. So anyway. This is a great one. So, thank you Cassie Stevens. I found this on your blog last summer and I was so excited to get it to into my classroom and um, the kids loved it. So, you folks this year are going to really like doing it as well. There are lots and lots of steps. As you can see, we use a lot of different supplies as well. This is an example that I quick work, whipped up at home of um, a circle weaving. I don't have any. Um, with me right now because they're either in storage at school or all the second graders took them home. They were so gorgeous. So you're going to be making um, the loom. You're going to be weaving on the loom. You're going to be using beads. We've got two sizes, different sizes rather, of uh, brushes. We're going to be using tempera paint which is um, already mixed up for you. It's not like watercolor where you have to add your watercolor water to the color. Um, these are the colors that we're going to be using. There's just four. Even though we're using four, we'll probably end up with about six different colors because they will mix. Um, I only had a couple of colors of yarn at home, so you're going to be getting these little, uh, they almost look like little bows or butterflies of yarn to choose from for your weaving. Um, what else can we talk about? I guess that's it. For, oh, supplies, right? I think I caught it all. Needles and beads. That was the other thing. I just pointed to beads, but I don't have the needles here. Okay, so to start with, though, you know that we always have certain words that um, that we use that are specialized words for talking about art or making art. Well, this project is no different, but this time we're going to have three words. First one, of course, is weaving which everyone is pretty much familiar with, aren't you? Because remember back, first grade, we did weaving. We did um, a paper weaving on a paper loom, and we also kept the loom, just, as the, just like we're going to keep the loom on here. Usually when you're weaving, however, you're more familiar with the kinds of weaving that you do on a loom, and then you cut it off the loom, so it's actually separate. So this is a third grade project. Um, and we won't be doing that until third grade. Our second specialized word that we're going to be using in our circle weaving project is going to be concentric circles. Those are our circles that actually um, kind of go around each other. Um, they all start from a center point. So concentric circles. One artist that was really famous for his circle paintings concentric circle paintings is Kandinsky. So we're going to be looking a little bit at his work um, to tie an artist into this unit and he's a pretty cool guy. So I think Miss Petter likes him too because he has uh, ties to music so maybe we'll talk about that with her too. Right? The third word, specialized word, that we're going to be using is pattern. Now you have talked about pattern since kindergarten and you know that pattern is basically a repeat. And in art, it, um, it creates a lot of our, our design and interest in the work. So um, in art we refer to pattern as different lines, uh, shapes, colors, textures that are repeated. And they can be used together, um, you know, or just uh, all lines, all colors, all shapes. It just doesn't matter. They're kind of all together. So this is what we're going to be doing on our circle loom. We're going to be doing our concentric circles. And we're also going to be putting pattern on there as well. All right. So those are our three words. And I know you're going to be remembering those because we're going to be using them so many times in this project that you're, uh, you're going to be dreaming about them, right? Okay. Um, so, what else do we need to talk about? We've got all our supplies. We talked about Kandinsky. We know about our three words. The next thing I'm going to show you really quickly in a kind of a snapshot um, are the steps that are involved with all these fabulous materials that you're going to be using. The first thing is we're going to be starting off with um, a paper plate. 
And these paper plates are the best because they are almost like expensive art paper. So when you paint on these, you are going to be so spoiled, okay? So we're going to be putting our name on the back of these because these are going to go on the drying rack. So we're going to be using these plates. Then we're going to be using um, our four different colors of tempera paint. You can see that there's actually um, another color created here. This one doesn't have the purple because I didn't blend it out to the edge, but um, we're going to be doing the concentric circles. So one, two, three, four, five circles on here. Um, then once we finish that, we are actually going to get this template. And we're going to slip that over top of it. Really, you know, don't let it move around or anything. We're going to be marking off lines in these little slits in here. Later, you're going to be cutting these. And this is where we, um, we start to put, uh, we put our, our yarn for weaving. They go through these little slots. Okay? So once you've done that, then we're going to move into the pattern. And you're going to paint pattern. This one already has the... Um, the slots cut, so don't get confused with that. That doesn't happen until, um, or, or it happens before painting your pattern. So, um, there. Anyway, so back to, back to pattern. So you'll be doing your pattern on here. And then we're going to get out our yarn. And we're going to uh, what's, do what's called um, wefting our loom. And that means we are going to put the yarn on here for you to weave on. And they kind of look like a spider web when you're finished. And then we're going to get out yarn. And I have three or four different colors. These are probably not the colors we're going to use. Like I said before, these are the only ones I had at home. Um, and I'm going to teach you how to weave. There's a couple of um, kind of rhymes or, um, you know, reminders that you can say to yourself while you're actually weaving so that you won't get off track. Oh, I, you may be able to hear my cat. She may be visiting us. Um, She's playing in the background. She has been playing with the brushes, and she's very interested in tempera paint. I'm just waiting for her to um, get really super interested in the yarn. She's already been carrying a bag of yarn around this morning, like a trophy. Anyway, oh my gosh, here she comes. She may be on the table. Okay, back to our video. I'm forgetting. I'm so, I love my cat, so you want to hear about her? I thought I'd tell you about her. Okay. Um... So then, uh, then once we finish weaving er, um, out about an inch or so, then you can start incorporating some of your beads for a more three-dimensional pattern. And we're going to be also learning how to tie knots so that you can change color. That's how you do it. You just weave with one color, then you attach another one by tying a knot. Weave, 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 weave. And then if you want to do more, you just tie a knot. But then when you get to the point where you're putting your beads on, we're going to be putting the yarn through a needle. So I'm going to show you how to thread a needle. And then we can use pony beads because they have a wider opening. Um, some of our tiny beads don't work so well. All right. So that's pretty much our overview for, consent er, for circle weaving. And um, it's a really fun project. I'm really excited for you to be working on this. And it's... Um, it's a really good project for everyone. You can do it in groups. You can do it on the floor. Um, it's very relaxing, but it's also all about patterns. So it's kind of tied in with math, too, believe it or not. hate to tell you that. Art and math, you know. There are connections, just like there are with science. So, anyway. Good luck on the project, and we're going to help each other out on this. I know you'll do a great job. And... I'm excited to get started. So, next video will be teaching you how to paint concentric circles with tempera paint.